morning of April 27, 1880. Tombstone, Arizona Territory. Dexter, find the shop. you before about Yehu in this town, Buckhorn. Don't you prop me on. I caught that Indian stealing horses from the mission. Oh, that's Little Hawk, one of Father Miguel's most trusted Indians. No more he ain't. The Padre was with me when we spotted him stealing the horses. No, I do not steal mission horses. Shut your lying mouth. That's enough. If Father Miguel caught him, it looks like an open and shut case, Hollister. You've had too much horse stealing from renegade Apaches lately. Why don't you do something about it? Little Hawk isn't riding with the renegades anymore, Mr. Griffin. So he says. But we have two witnesses. Jess Buckhorn here and Father Miguel. You believe the Padre's testimony, don't you? I will. When I hear it from him. We ain't got time for that, Hollister. What we need around here is a sheriff that knows what to do with a rope when he's dealing with horse thieves. The circuit judge will be here in two days. Little Hawk will have his trial then. An actual account from the pages of my newspaper, the Tombstone Epitaph. This is the way it happened in the town too tough to die. Tombstone Territory. The morning of April 27, 1880 had gotten off to a typical tombstone start. Gunfire had greeted the day. But this time, nobody had been killed. Thus far. You're a lucky Indian, Little Hawk. Buckhorn's a good shot. We're lucky, too. If that gunslinger had killed Little Hawk, we might have had some real Indian trouble. Yeah, we might not be out of the trouble yet. Griffin was right about one thing. Ranchers have been losing a lot of horses lately. I tell you again, Sheriff Hollister, I do not steal mission horses. I was only taking them to better pasture. We'll see. It is the truth. Buckhorn lies. Somebody's lying. I gave my promise to Padre Miguel to try to learn the good life. I would not take back that promise. I would be what the white men call an Indian giver. That's right, little Hawk. You would be. You must have had every chance to kill that Indian before he reached Tombstone. Why didn't you? Well, don't you think I tried? That Indian knows every trick in the book. Well, it was like shooting at smoke. I hired you to cause Indian trouble. Now, what about it? Well, it ain't been so easy. Those renegades have been awful quiet lately. Till Little Hawk decided he wanted himself some nice, fat mission ponies. Father Miguel actually saw him taking the stock. Plain as day. Little Hawk thought the Padre was having a siesta. So he rounded up six of the best ponies and was moving them out as I rode in. The Padre came running out when he heard the ruckus. The Padre is bound to tell the truth as he sees it. Perhaps it's just as well you didn't kill Little Hawk. You gonna let that Indian go to trial? No. Now the whole town thinks it is guilty. I'll play that up. We'll have a lynch mob. It quite too quiet. How did they cool off? In a saloon? Buckhorn's bad enough when he's sober, but when he gets liquored up, look out. Seems a lawyer like Griffin would be too smart to go along with Lynch Law. Yeah, but he was all for it this morning.
in the mob. Oh, great. Looks like I get thrown. Yeah. Wait a minute. There's another way. Quint, you and Dexter go out the back way and get our horses. Right, Quint. What are you going to do? A little hawk came from the mission. He's going back there. You think you can hold him off until we get away? Well, they're not mad at me yet. Out of sir! We want Little Hawk. fitting headline for tomorrow's edition of the Epitaph. Lynch Law returns to Tombstone. Thanks to one of its leading citizens, attorney Fred Griffin, this edition marks the probable death of the town once called too tough to die. Get out of the way, Clyburn. You were the one with all the answers, Griffin. All right, Clyburn. Honester wins the first round, but Tombstone's going to have a new sheriff, and I'm going to see to it, personally. And another thing, Editor. Honester has to bring that Indian back to Tombstone sometime, and when he does, we're going to finish what we started here. You understand? Come on. Clay Hollister knew Indians, but sometimes the more you knew about them, the less you knew about them. He was taking no chances with Little Hawk. I think I'll let Quent have one of the reins going through the mountains. Wouldn't want that horse to run away with you. Could be hard to find. Friends, we are Padre of Little Hawk's Innocent. Otherwise, you'll have to pay. But I did not steal the horses. I was only driving them to better pasture. Toward the rocks of the Cherry Carlos? Padre, I know a green valley with better water. You better save that for the judge and jury. Meantime, we have to save him from a lynch mob's rope. You can't very easily try a dead man. They will shoot me anyway, or hang me. Sanctuary, Padre, sanctuary. You need no sanctuary from them even if I could grant it. Does that mean that Little Hawk is guilty of horse stealing, Father Miguel? Well, if so, please try to understand. The Apache thinks differently about animals than the white man. To take another man's horses is a great honor in his tribe. He isn't in his tribe anymore. 
He's a mission Indian now, and he's got to observe our laws and customs. That is true. The circuit judge is doing tombstone day after tomorrow. Can you hide him until then? Keep him in custody? Till trial time? Custody? What if you got some place to lock him up? My deputies will guard him. Well, we have no locks here. Unless the granary. That is a safe place. May I see it, please? Why, of course. This is the only door with a key. Without it, my Indians would eat all of the grain in one day. I guess we all have our troubles, Padre. Yes. Little Hawk? I'm holding you here until your trial. Thank you, Sheriff Hollister. I will not forget what you have done. Mm -hmm. Just don't give the Padre any trouble. And make sure I'm leaving my deputies here. They will be welcome guests. Thanks, Padre. In case you need them. When you come back for Little Hawk, I will accompany you to Tombstone. I will do all I can for him. I know you will. Then it's in the hands of the court. I understand. Hollister started his long ride back to Tombstone. For the time being, he had saved a life. That was one of the sheriff's sworn duties. Padre, I must talk to you. I want to confess. Yes, my son. Padre, help me. Tell the judge you were wrong. That I did not steal the mission horses, but was driving them to a better pasture. Well, it will be up to him to decide if that is true. I will help you all I can at the trial. There won't what? be no trial. No judge and no rope. What? Drop the gun. Drop it. Drop it or he dies. your scalp in town. They want a new sheriff. Who's they? Griffin, Buckhorn, and the mob? Well, they just want a quick hanging or another Indian war. And I'm not a... Little Hawk, he escaped. Shot Dexter and knocked out Father Miguel. 
He said he wasn't an Indian giver. Let's go. How is he? He's coming around. Dexter? Not so good. Well, Try to stop him. I, I know you did, Father. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? Jared. Quint, I got those handcuffs. You and Harris hitch up a wagon. Take Padre Miguel and Dexter back to town. Right, Clay. What about you? I'm going after Little Hawk. Man, are you out of your mind? You can't go up there alone. That's Indian country. There's just one Indian I'm worried about. You'll be riding into a trap. He'll shoot you before you even know he's anywhere around. Now, look, I'll go back to Tombstone and pick up a posse. And... Who? Lawyer Griffin and that lynch mob that are out after my hide? No, thank you. Clay. Remember, he's got two guns. Yeah, so have I. Little Hawk was headed to the Chiricahuas, the mountains where bands of marauding renegades defied the white man. continued a relentless pursuit. Little Hawk finally arrived at a vantage point in the mountains where he could rest and wait and kill. trail grew harder and harder to follow. The inner Chiricahuas were known only to Indians. For the white man, it was no man's land.
Drop the gun. You're headed in the wrong direction. Your trial's back in Tombstone, remember? Where they can't wait to hang me. They just might hang you now. It's a pretty bloody trail you left. All right, Sheriff. I will go with you. But you will have to help me. I've hurt my hand. See? <laughs> there's going to be a hanging. Now. So I'm taking that horse thief and killer. You talking for yourself or for lawyer Griffin here? I'm talking for everybody in town. You're through, Hollister. These people here will tell you so. We don't like Indian lovers. And we're going to end it all by hanging that horse thief. Maybe. If the court says so. The court. There's always loopholes. We're hanging him now. I don't think so. I do. Looks like Little Hawk's gonna have some company in jail. Hey. Aren't you gonna do something, Griffin? Come on, Buckhorn. Oh, wait a minute. He hired me to make trouble for the Indians. He's lying. Would you take the word of a drifter? I was no drifter when you needed my gun to help you get the Indian land so you could sell it to the railroads. You're a smart lawyer. You should know the penalty for persecution and fraud, not to mention inciting a lynch mob. Will you join us, Mr. Griffin? <laughs> Dexter and Father Miguel. They're all right. Both be as good as new in no time. Uh, what do you think will happen to Little Hawk? He'll be tried. You first put it on, everything seems so simple. Crime, justice, black and white. And? Then you have to protect a horse thief. Save him from a mob. That's as it should be. Yeah. In the meantime, a padre gets clubbed down, one of your own deputies gets wounded. But nobody was killed. And many might have been if you hadn't moved your prisoner. You and your deputies couldn't let that mob take him. Harris, you're a great comfort to me. You just need someone to talk to. No. No, but sometimes my conscience does. How about some dinner? Tombstone Territory Whistle me up 